Hey guys, bring another video today. So we're in the process of, you can see the difference here of graveling. So my sister's boyfriend, he has a trucking company and they have gravel pits. So he's bringing us a bunch of nice, kind of more, I'd say some of our old gravel was more of uh, sand. And as soon as it would rain, it was just like we were in soup. So this is a little more, it's a little more gray looking. I'm not sure exactly the proper term. It's just a lot, lot less sand. There's a lot more bigger rock in it. So hopefully that will. And the auger tractor we normally use is a little bit busy. So I had to go a little excessive and use the 8480 <laughs> to pull our little blade scraper. It can't, it doesn't have enough power to dig in the ground, but it has enough power to take all this gravel and smooth it out. So thought I'd just show you guys the yard. And uh, we got the baler hooked up to the fent now, so we're ready to, if any neighbors call us that need some hay, because we don't normally do hay ourselves anymore. But if the neighbors call up, uh, we had one the other day call up needing some help for the rain, but uh, we, we weren't done doing the maintenance on our baler, so. Uh, here's our Hallmaster 1300. I don't know if you guys have seen it before. This is already traded in. We've already got a 1600 on the way, which I've told you guys about. So it'll be black with tracks. So there'll be a video on that when that comes. Our honeybee header over there, it's 36 foot. It's already sold. We've got a new flex header coming. And our yard's just a bunch of this stuff I'm going to clean up, a bunch of the plastic I'm going to take the recycling today, so that's on the list to get all that picked up with a loader. Uh, just trying to clean, I got to clean up our pallets and all this equipment, we need to uh, do something with it. I hate having it sit out, so hopefully we'll get to do something like that today. But we'll go in, the, you can hear the fan on one of our meridians we had some canola we had a, a thousand bushel bin of canola that we opened up the other day it was the last of our canola went to go sell it and turns out a bit of it was heated so obviously somebody didn't do a good check during harvest last year we didn't keep track of temperature so um, it's getting dried i think it's about 40 percent heated but luckily there is people that will buy it just half the price so so here's our uh, 2170 XD Heston. Uh, this will be the last year for this baler. I think we've, I think this is our sixth year or fifth year using this baler. In beautiful condition. Got the accumulator on the back here. So I'll be quite excited when we get a new baler because I think we're looking at the, I think it's a 2370 UHD. It's the brand new. Heston Baylor that Massey's come out with so it'd be nice to go to that but we'll definitely I'll get definitely get some video footage or whatever of the fent here on the baler in the field I I usually get to do a bit of baling every year so <clears throat> that's kind of our setup for that so here's from all our grain bags that we did it's all rolled up plastic so I'm going to be hauling all this to the I guess the dump or the weigh station, basically a spot where they can recycle this. And then I've got a big, you guys are already seeing out there, a big thing and they do that. But hopefully you guys will get to see our uh, 9840 as well. We got a 35 foot header. You've seen that out there, right in front of the grain cart. Uh, roller for the canola. So you'll get to hopefully see that in action. We'll see. I'm hoping to get a GoPro. I don't think I'll have a drone, but at least we can do some GoPro and some editing. And I haven't edited a video yet, so. But yeah, so time to get in our 8700. And I'm going to probably, while I'm waiting for more gravel to come, I've kind of leveled out everything that he dumped. He does a pretty good of spreading it with his gravel trailers already. So I just, I make it go an extra little distance if I can. But uh, yeah, I'm going to get in this and start messing around with some plastic and hopefully get that all organized so hopefully i'll see you guys in the next video